Hello to this new tutorial. Today I want to dive a little bit deeper into Dforum and I want to show you how to integrate IP adapter functionality so that you can copy a style from a photo or image and integrate it into your Dforum workflow. It's quite straightforward. Everything is based on the Cadence interpolation workflow from the last video. I will link the video where we built this workflow in the description below. You can also find every information on my Patreon page. It'd be great if you support me there. The workflow is quite big so far and it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> the forum is quite complex, but the integration of IP adapter is quite straightforward. I did a video on how to install IP adapter plus for comfy UI. I will link this video as well in the description below. It can be tricky, but uh, uh, actually is quite straightforward. You have to um, be really precise with your paths and names and then everything should work. Okay, so let's start with the workflow from last video, the Cadence Interpolation workflow. Okay, so we have our Cadence Interpolation workflow here. And the basic build up was we have a chain of settings when I opened the workflow I created in the video some days ago, I realized there was an error with the base parameter node. I think they updated it in the recent Dforum version. So if you are running into an error and this node gets read, if you try to render the workflow, simply uh, double click back on the background and load it again and reconnect everything. Get your values from this node and then you can delete the old node. Okay, so this is the settings. This is our iterator node and uh, here in the back is our case sampler. And what we have to do, um, first let's make some space here. I like to use the IP adapter advanced node. And we simply have to put this in between our model and our Dforum case sampler, this and its nodes, which we will create now to fill everything which IP adapter needs into this node. So let's connect the normal model using the Juggernaut XL uh, again. I like to want to use uh, an image as a base for the style transfer. So out image. Let's use this example image. We need the actual IP adapter uh, model. So for the Juggernaut XL, which is a SDXL model. I use the IP adapter SDXL model. Then maybe it's a good idea to prep the image for clip vision. So put this in between this image output and the image input of the IP adapter advanced. Then we need the clip vision, load clip vision, the clip vision loader, and let's use the clip with H14 model. Maybe we have to switch this for SDXL. Let's see when we try it out. And now we can connect this model output to our model input of our Dforum case sampler. And that should be it. Let's see which prompt we have. We have still the cat sushi prompt. And so we should be fine to render something. I click the reset counter and reset latent to start from scratch and try to render this. So we get this size mismatch error. Let's try to change the clip vision 
to the big G. Try it again. We have what I told you at the beginning. We have the base parameter error. So let's simply quickly exchange this node. I thought I did it uh, already. Okay, let's take our values. Uh, and here you can see what happened. The seed schedule should be something like this. Um, and it's set to Euler. So keep it like this. Seed behavior is random. That should be fine now. Let's try again. Okay, this is a typical deforum error, which drives me nuts. I reset the counter again and reset the latent again and try again. And now it looks quite good. We have something here. Okay. So this is a really funny looking result. It's We can see there is a similarity to our style image. I cannot see any sushi and any cat. So let's reduce the weight a little bit to, let's say, 40 maybe. And stop the process and start again. Reset everything. Do it again. Let's see what we get now. So there comes a cat again and as well as a sushi. Let's have a look into the video note. Yeah, and you can see we are again flying into the image, but now with the style of our image. Yeah, that's it basically. Sure, this is a bad example, a bad um, image at the base. But I think you can see the results and how IP adapter is doing its work here. Maybe play around with the weight values and you should be good to go with IP adapter integration. You also can simply integrate this in the workflow without the cadence feature we did in the first forum video. And yeah, you can do all the stuff you can do with uh, IP adapter, take a video as a source, uh, take several images as a source for the style. You can animate the style transfer and and so on. Yeah, that's it for now. I will upload this workflow on Patreon again, and I will link uh, the Patreon page in the description below. I hope this video got you a brief insight on how to work with IP adapter in the forum, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.